Hey guys, it's Zach with Aldec, and today we're going to be going over design profiling within Riviera Pro. Design profiling is a feature that will monitor CPU utilization during simulation. Profiling your designs can help identify design units or code sections that put the greatest strain on the simulator, and that information can be used to improve the simulation environment and performance of the tool. Data collection for profiling can include execution times per HDL statement, per process, per instance of library unit, and per library unit used. Data is collected in the form of CPU ticks, and CPU frequency is known so it can be converted to time easily. The information from a profiling session can be displayed using the Profiler Viewer, or you can generate an HTML or CSV report. To prepare a simulation session for design profiling, we'll go into the Tool Preferences. In the Simulation section and the Coverage Profiler subsection, we can click to expand. If we click on General, we want to make that sure that the profiler is selected. If we click on Profiler, there are additional options for us to select. Checking Collect Data for All Units would enhance our profiling report by extending the profiling to the resource libraries as well, rather than only the current working library. We can also set the output directory to whatever we wish. When we conclude our simulation session, the profiling data for the session will be saved to this directory with a .tbp file extension. Adjusting the compilation options of your design can change the results for your profiling session. If we move to the compilation section and in the VHDL subsection, we can click to expand. If we click on General, we can see the option to generate debug information or set optimization levels. Using the debug compiler option will allow the profiler to collect statistics for each HDL statement executed. Without it, the profiler clicks on a per process basis. Collecting for each HDL statement can help scrutinize critical codes such as flip-flops that are instantiated thousands of times. Skipping the debug information gives you the ability to change the optimization levels during compilation. Debug optimization levels range from 0 to 3, each of which affects the simulation speed and possibly the unit shares and total time may differ, and by proxy, the tick counts collected. After the selections are made, we can click Apply and OK to confirm our selections. So I'm going to run a script to compile the source files and run simulation of this design. Once it finishes, we can see in the console a message will indicate that the results were written to the profiler directory. If we open up our Profiler Viewer, we'll be able to open and view the results. However, before we open up the Profile Viewer, we're going to generate a report of the results using the Profiler Report command in the console. With this command, we can indicate whether the directory of the results or the results themselves. We can also indicate the format of the report we'd like to generate, whether it be HTML, text, or CSV. We'll generate a report and take a look inside. In this small summary, we can see a statistic acceptance ratio, which tracks when the CPU is executing a task external to the tool and the simulation is suspended. Disruptions to the simulator can change how many timings are reliable in your simulation and will skew the acceptance ratio. In this ratio, it says that 9.14% of the accepted 83.82% timings were spent on simulation. Limiting machine use during profiling sessions or running simulations on a dedicated machine can help achieve the best accepted timings for profiler results. The Profiler Viewer is a standalone application that we can open via Riviera Pro in tools which we can use to open up the profile results file. We know the results were written to the profiler directory with the name profiler.tbp and we can open it. We can expand different sections visible in the hierarchy to look at the branches of the design. When one is selected, a detail selection or detail section will be visible to the right. The details view, you can find information about the selection and its performance related to the rest of the design in the form of a pie chart and timing information. Certain selections will also bring up the source code, which will show you CPU ticks per process in the margin. There are multiple tabs in the Profiler Viewer for choosing a way to view the data. We have the Hierarchy View, Hierarchical Processes, Units, Flat Processes, and Unused Subprograms. The Hierarchical Processes tab will show data for individual processes in the Design Hierarchy, whereas the Flat Processes tab will show profiling data, which is merged for all instances of the process.
Each tab will have statistics listed in columns such as CPU ticks, share percentage, and time in microseconds. In the first tab, we can see our data path, test bench, and a separate section, other code. This other code section will be present in most profiler data. Other code is the dedicated section for other GUI operations being executed in your simulation environment. Any switching times, uh, signal updates, process calling, waveform logging, etc. will be included in the other code section, and the more operations in that section will cause profiling time of other code to increase. Display settings can be adjusted using the display settings button in the toolbar and can change whether full time or accepted time is displayed as well as which naming conventions are, and processes are going to be displayed. Uh, the filter button is used to display selections with, within certain time ranges. The find button can be used to look for specific units or processes in the hierarchy that are relevant to your design. And it is also possible to add bookmarks to the source code and cycle through them using the bookmark buttons in the toolbar. And next to that you can cycle through executed blocks in the source code. One last thing to mention is generating reports within the Profiler Viewer. If we go to File and Profiler Report Settings, we can adjust the details included in the reports that we can generate. We can choose which parts are included and how the information will be displayed. Once done, we can click OK. And in File, Save Report, you can choose to save the report as a text, HTML, or CSV. Well, that's it for this video on design profiling within Riviera Pro. Thanks for watching.